Take that, YouTube. Ha <laughs> ha, take that, Facebook video. Instagram TV is here, and we're going to look at it today on Dottotech. Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? At Dottotech, we make technology easy so you can do more. And today, we're going to show you how to do more Instagram TV. And if you haven't started with Instagram TV yet, this is the video for you. I know every time that there's a brand new, really kind of landmark feature like Instagram TV that launches on a social network, we are inundated with videos about it. So what we're going to cover today is I'm going to show you a little bit about what it is, but you've probably seen what it is from somebody else before. Now, if not, oh, we'll cover the basics. But I'm going to show you how to get started, and I'm going to try and give you a little bit of an idea of some of the things that I think it can do. I've never been a huge Instagrammer. I, for a variety of reasons, uh, but does IGTV inspire me to come over? Let us see. All right, so they do have a standalone app for IGTV, uh, which you can download from the, from the app store uh, if you choose that you want to use the standalone app. But I, I don't think, I don't see much point in using the standalone app. Uh, frankly, I think that most of us are going to end up using Instagram TV right in our, uh, in our standard client for Instagram, in our Instagram app. Uh, now, once it's enabled for you, you will see it right here in the very top. You see right there? It's got a little TV with the squiggle in it. That's Instagram TV. And when you open it up, it will automatically start to send to you feeds from people who you follow on Instagram, anybody who's created their Instagram channel. There's a small process to creating your channel, which I will show you in just a few moments. Uh, but once you've created a channel, it will automatically be populating into the feed. Now, it's unclear here now whether there's going to be an algorithm controlling the feed as we get more and more traffic, or you're going to see everything from the people that you want to follow. Uh, all of that will be determined as, as, as it evolves, and I imagine at some point there'll have to be some sort of a governor put on it. But right now you can see that it's broken into a few different areas for you following popular and continue watching. So the continue watching is videos that I've already started and I've been playing with it. That's why it's kind of jumping in in the middle. And you can see I've got Chris Brogan there chatting away, uh, not paying very much attention at all to his, how much headroom he's give, given to the video. Actually, you can see something right here. This is vertical video. Uh, Instagram uh, IGTV is designed to go in this vertical format here for the phone to go this way. I think that's strategic, uh, but it also creates some new opportunity. It's strategic because it means that we aren't going to be as likely to want to just upload our old stuff. All of our old YouTube videos that we've created for YouTube, we're not going to want to upload to Instagram TV because it's going to look like crap on Instagram TV compared to vertical video. So there is that to it. Now you don't, one thing that I'm going to, in, in, a, in a demo coming up in a few moments, you don't record live and stream it. This is a video that you record, you can edit, and then you can upload. So it's much more permanent video. Uh, the length of videos that you can upload on it are somewhere between uh, 10 minutes. For, for most of us, we can do 10 minute videos uh, on our phone. Um, and uh, if you uh, use the desktop app, you can upload up to an hour, but not everybody's gonna be able to upload up to an hour. Uh, there's, gonna be, uh, there's gonna be some thresholds that have to happen for that. Um, but 10 minutes is still way better than what Instagram used to give us. And the fact that it's not now live streaming, but video that we can edit, we can package, we can control uh, before we send it up, that creates some compelling new stories. And it's going to create some interesting ways that it's going to be used. I think the way that we're going to develop and use this in social media is going to be really interesting over the next little while. These main areas of following popular, basically you're going to go through and you're going to see the different, the different artists and the different people that you follow uh, in your stream. And you can take a look at their stories. And for the most part, most of the stories that I see now, they're crap. Mine, but the first one that I recorded, which you can see right here, which I will show you how I did in just a few moments, that's crap as well. It's not worth watching, but it's, it was done as a demo for this video. So these are the areas. So you're going to start browsing through, seeing who you like, and getting a flavor for how people are using it. Now, to create your channel, that's what I'm going to show you right now, because you can see here's my channel right here. I've got a single video that I've uploaded already. I'm going to show you what I did with my channel from the beginning of the process of creating my channel and then creating and uploading my first video. And here's that process right now. And oh yeah, I remember. Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, hopefully you don't have Chris Brogan yammering away in the background. But you create a channel. This is what you have to do. I believe you only have to do this once. You create a channel, and IGTV is a space to be creative and engage audiences with new longer videos. Next, 
We can share videos longer than a minute. That's just walking through what it is. Built for vertical. We know that. We'll talk a little bit more about it. And now I've got my channel done. So there it is. My channel is set to go. So there's no videos uploaded yet. So I wonder... So you can upload a video or you can record a video. So... Ah, so you pre-record the video. You don't stream live. You pre-record the video and then you upload it. Not in real time. Not real time. Not a streaming service. Okay, I'm going to record a video. Let's see if I can do one right here right now. Let's see if this will work. Let's go over to video. Let's turn it over to selfie mode. There we go. And you can see that. We can see that. <laughs> All right. So welcome to our first Instagram TV video. Now, this is not a video that's really designed for the channel, so anybody who's seeing it, my apologies to you. I will post a more proper Instagram video, but right now I'm recording the process of recording a video. This is, this is kind of very meta. This video now is all for a YouTube video where I'm talking about the creation of your first IGTV streams. So I had to record something, so that's this. It's got absolutely no value other than that. To my friends on YouTube, value. To my friends on Instagram, not so much value. I hopefully will be able to put a link to that video in the Instagram video. I know I can put a link to the Instagram video in the YouTube video. There, we should say hi to each other. Hello. There. Okay, bye. Okay, so now we are going to go and post this. I don't really like... I don't like at the beginning of these channels, the, the your first post is always kind of this not really a super valuable post. But let's put this up. Title. This video is a short video I recorded as part of a YouTube demo, comma. Sorry to all my Instagram friends. We will do... I believe I can put URLs in here. Let's put... Hmm. I can also cross post right here by going there to cross post to the Facebook page. I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, I will do that. I can delete it from the page. We'll see it. All right. Now it's uploading. It says 90%. 100%. So we have it uploaded. So now this is what people see in their channel. And drop it down. Ah, it's got a URL in it. Oh, ah. Clickable link in the description. And we can put more than one in. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's awesome. That is awesome. Well, as you can see, it's pretty straightforward and simple right now. The This inclusion that I got so excited about at the end of that demo, uh, the ability to be able to insert uh, more links than what we can currently have in our description. If that's going to work out the way I think it's going to work out, that to me is a bit of a game changer. I can see a lot of different ways that we're going to be using it. And it's, a, it's the beginning of the journey. It's just the beginning of the journey. Um, and I'm going to give it a try myself. I uh, just want to drop this in just before we uh, publish this video because after I finished the, the main part of the video for, for IGTV. As I was in bed last night, I was thinking, how could we use this more effectively uh, for our, uh, for Dotto Tech? And I think people can use it differently depending on who you are, obviously. Uh, but for us, I thought maybe we can use it to help cross promote our, our tutorial videos. So when I got up this morning, I quickly recorded just on my, on my phone, a vertical video, uh, which talked about the video that we published this week, uh, which has happened to be on Bitmoji. Uh, I created that. And now here's the cool thing. I didn't want to just put a raw video up. Instead, I brought that video onto my desktop and I edited it in ScreenFlow. Here's the edited, uh, let's get to ScreenFlow here. Uh, there it is right here. Here is the, uh, the file that I edited. So I imported it in vertical format. I edited it, added graphics, tightened it up a little bit, and then I exported it as a 1080 by 1920 file. Once I did that, I created a piece of cover art, a thumbnail cover art, because I'm going to publish it from the desktop. And here, if we go into the Instagram app, we have something that we've never really been able to do before is being able to publish 
from the from our desktop. So I've got an edited video here, and I'm going to upload the cover art that I created, which is here. Let's take a look for that. Um, thumbnail, there it is. So I've got its own thumbnail. I'm going to give it a title. Oh, pressure. I am loving Bitmoji. I've added comments here, and it's so much easier to type the comments into the computer than on the phone. And I've added a link, a link to our blog post on Bitmoji. And I can cross post this onto my, oh, you can only go to your public pages, but that's okay. I'm gonna connect the page. I don't know, what do you think? You think we're ready to go? We've got the video, I've checked the video. I'm gonna post it. Uh, all ready to go. And so you can see we've got it. Uh, I'm just gonna watch it for a few seconds till the graphics come in, there it is. So I added these graphics to the top of it and it's looking good. Oh, that's, it's pretty slick. Oh, let's do this too. Let's go over to Facebook. Let's take a quick look at it and see it on Facebook. And so I cross posted it. I believe I cross posted it. There it is. So it's now cross posted to Facebook as well. And we've already reached four people. Oh, that Facebook algorithm just driving it out to the community. Uh, but look, there we are. There's the link straight through to the, oh, and while I'm at it, I'll, let's check the link here. So that takes us to the to the, to my web page. So let's scroll. Let's tap at the top here of the screen here. Tap down. Tap on the link. And oh, this does my heart good. There I am. On the phone in mobile, going from Instagram over to my website with a link that's not the only link that I put in my in my um, in my profile, but a link that's attached to the post to the IGTV post. Well, as you can see, it's pretty straightforward and simple right now. The, this inclusion that I got so excited about at the end of that demo, uh, the ability to be able to insert uh, more links than what we can currently have in our description. If that's going to work out the way I think it's going to work out, that to me is a bit of a game changer. Uh, I can see a lot of different ways that we're going to be using it. And it's, a, it's the beginning of the journey. It's just the beginning of the journey. Um, and I'm going to give it a try myself. Uh, I'd love to hear if you are. Are you convinced? Is it something that you're going to be using? Are you, do you think Instagram TV is A, something you're going to want to create content for? Do you see a value for you? Or B, is it something that you're going to watch? Is it worth you taking time to see the content that other people are creating there? Uh, that's what I want to hear from you. And let me know in the, in the comments below. Now, if you found today's video to be useful, a like would be greatly appreciated as well. Please subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell when you do. That way you'll be notified when we upload new videos and we won't be lost in the shuffle. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.